Hello everyone, today let's learn how to find out trigonometric ratios when the angles are more than 90 degrees. So here is the question, if sin A is 3 by 5, tan B is half and uh, angle A is between pi by 2 and pi, angle B is between pi and 3 pi by 2, we have to find the value of 8 tan A minus square root of 5 times sec B. So friends, in the earlier grades, you have definitely learned how to find the value of these uh, expressions provided the angles were all acute angles, right? But today we will see that if those angles are more than 90 degrees, how you can still find out the value of such expressions. Now, since both angle A and angle B are more than 90 degrees, let's first write the uh, draw the coordinate plane, right? We have the xy plane which is divided into four quadrants. Yes, what are the quadrants? First quadrant, second, this is the third quadrant and here is the fourth quadrant. Now, this is 0 degrees. Here we have pi by 2. This is, can you tell me? Yes, pi. This is 3 pi by 2 and we can also take this as 2 pi. So, you have one full 360 degrees here. Now, if your angle is an acute angle, then all the trigonometric ratios are going to be positive, right? So, we write here A. Do you remember? All silver T cups. That's a good way of remembering this rule. So, if your angle is acute, all the ratios are going to be positive. Now, if your angle is in the second quadrant, then only sine and its reciprocal, which is cosec, are going to be positive. All the other ratios are going to be negative, right? Now, if your angle is in the third quadrant, T, that means only tan and cot are going to be positive. And if your angle is in the fourth quadrant, only cos and its reciprocal sec will be positive. So, this is the basis. So, now your angle A is given as between pi by 2 and pi. So, can you tell me which quadrant will angle A lie? Yes, it will lie in the second quadrant. So, let me just uh, draw here. You have angle A which is in the second quadrant. So, only sine and cosec are going to be positive. So, let's keep that in mind. Now, it's given to us that sine A is 3 pi by 5 but we have to find the value of tan A. Okay, so we need to find out what is tan A. So friends, what formula connects sin A with tan A? Yes, you remember tan A is nothing but sin A by cos A. That's right. But the problem here is we know what is sin A but we don't know what is cos. So first in order to find out tan, I first need to find out what is cos. So what is cos? Again, let's see what is the relation between cos and sine. Yes, that is an identity which you all know. That is cos square A is 1 minus sine square A. Yes, I know what is sine. So, let me just substitute. It is 3 by 5 the whole square which is 1 minus 3 square is going to be 9. It is 25. I'll take the LCM. So, I'll get 25 minus 9 which is 16 by 25. That means cos square A is 16 by 25. Obviously, I want to know what is cos A. So, cos A is going to be square root of 16 by 25. Now, because your angle is in the second quadrant, we don't know. The ratios can be positive, they can be negative. So, that's why we introduce plus or minus. This is a very important addition. This is the difference here, right? Because your angle is more than 90, we will put plus or minus square root of 16 by 25. I hope you got this. So, root of 16 is 4. This is 5. So, plus or minus 4 by 5. Now, since your angle is in the second quadrant, what will happen to cos? Will it be positive or negative? It will be negative because only sine is supposed to be positive. So, we will say that cos A is going to be minus 4 by 5. So, now I know what is cos and sine. Let me find out the value of tan. Tan is nothing but what is sine A? Yes, 3 by 5 divided by cos A is minus 4 by 5. I will just take the reciprocal. Okay, so I will get multiplied by 5. Okay, so 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So, what do I get as tan A? Yes, tan A is going to be minus 3 by 4. Okay, friends, so I'll just erase all this and write here 
what is the value of tan a tan a is minus 3 by 4 that's great now i still need to find out what is sec of b now it is given to us that tan b is half i need to find out the value of sec b now it is given to us that b is between pi and 3 pi by 2 so in which quadrant does b lie yes definitely it lies in the third quadrant so like this so b is in my third quadrant where only tan and cot are positive the other ratios are negative so let's just keep that in mind okay now which formula relates tan b with sec b yes the formula is uh, the identity which you have all learned sec square is 1 plus tan square b so let me just substitute 1 plus 1 by 2 okay so i'll get 1 by 4 which is 5 by 4 but i want to know what is the value of sec b so sec b will be square root of 5 by 4 but because the angle is in the third quadrant it can be plus or minus so sec b is plus or minus now square root of 5 will be square root of 5 and the square root of 4 will be 2 now let's see it's in the third quadrant only tan and cot are positive friends so what will be sec b will it be positive not at all it will be negative square root of 5 by 2 so let me put over here the value of sec b that we got we got it as minus square root of 5 by 2 so now that we have found the value of tan a and sec b it's very easy now we just have to substitute 8 tan a minus square root of 5 sec of b okay so 8 is tan a is how much friends yes minus 3 by 4 I'll just put a bracket minus square root of 5 times sec b is again minus square root of 5 by 2 now we just have to simplify the trigonometry part is over so it will become minus 6 minus of minus is plus square root and square root so square root goes i'll get only 5 by 2 so here i'll take the lcm i'll get minus 12 plus 5 which is nothing but minus 7 by 2 so the value of this expression is minus 7 by 2 so friends for practice do try out this question and let me know what is the answer that you get in the comment section below so if you found the video useful do like and share consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your comments your feedback in the comment section below so till we meet again take care